The race for the forthcoming governorship election in Enugu State has become busier with the declaration to contest on the platform of the People's Democratic Party by a former Minister of Power, Professor Bart Naji, an engineer and inventor. What will he bring to the race that already has people like former Deputy Senate President I.K. Kweremadu and Senator Gilbert Naji? If and when he gets the ticket and goes on to win the election, what will be the policy thrust of his administration? Well, Professor Naji joins us now to rub minds over these matters and a few other situations generally unfolding across the southeast of Nigeria. We'd like to say welcome to the show, Professor. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. And as you contest, uh, we'd like to know what would you bring to the table that is different that your state has not seen? And what important salient facts would you be using to ride your campaign? Uh, the first thing uh, is that I, the, the state has been a, a very peaceful state. And I would like to maintain that peace which the current governor has uh, established. Uh, I, I then uh, will bring uh, performance in terms of uh, the various segments of uh, economy, uh, the social environment, uh, to uh, ensure that we have infrastructure, healthcare delivery system uh, that we have um, that we have uh, uh, absolute um, a pathway to creating uh, uh, manufacturing industries that is industrialization i believe that industrialization of this nation is quite possible and that uh, the state can do a lot to to uh, uh, achieve this attraction of foreign investors into the state, um, bringing uh, confidence in people to be able to come to the state to invest. Uh, it is something that we have already done uh, in the uh, in, in federal government uh, when I was minister of, of power. Uh, there, in fact, uh, just performance uh, to ensure that the government is able to uh, use all of its resources, the human resources, the uh, uh, people who have confidence in, in, in the government to come to the state to invest. These are things that I will ensure uh, uh, when uh, in this government. Well, Professor, one area that um, has been suffering, according to analysts especially, is the issue of primary health care. From what we understand, there's yes. inadequate funding, lack of drugs, to uh, mention a few, and quality service. Now, also, another issue in this sector is the effective monitoring of the use of provided equipment and dedication of the medical personnel to the discharge of their respective duties. Now, at this time, when there's global demand for those in the health sector, how would you be able to bolster the healthcare system to probably dissuade people from going to, you know, more attractive destinations that have more, have better promises for them? Uh, it's a very, very interesting question. Matter of fact, as a private sector per person, uh, we have been working to build an industry, uh, I mean, uh, to build industry that accommodates the healthcare delivery. So, um, we worked on a, on a, a hospital, a first-class hospital, because I have a firm belief that uh, we really can't continue to go outside the country for, for treatment. And how many people can actually afford to go outside the country? So we started working on it with, um, uh, in Enugu, matter of fact, to build a, such a hospital. I believe that in, uh, the government can, can actually build such a hospital in collaboration with private sector, a first-class hospital uh, where all aspects of uh, medicine 
can be attended to. The primary health uh, care is, is, is critical uh, so that you have a, a, a mother hospital and then you have uh, other hospitals, uh, 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 satellite hospitals that uh, um, collaborate with this hospital. Uh, sometimes you can call, um, you can um, call those uh, urgency, uh, urgent healthcare uh, centers so that you first, uh, people first go to those urgent care uh, centers for uh, primary uh, health care. If there are if there are, uh, if there are more serious issues, then they can go to the, uh, to the big hospital, and then you have these the big hospital uh, would be a tertiary institution doing research and uh, uh, ensuring that the sort of illnesses that you may find here that you don't find elsewhere can be also attended to. I am a firm believer that we uh, in, in Nigeria should not be going abroad for all, all these kinds of treatments. And we should do all that we can to, to establish a, a hospital system that takes care of uh, all segments of our society. Now, while receiving your nomination form from the new Enugun Coalition for Good Governance, you said that the state governor, Ifan Yigwani, would ultimately decide who his successor would be. Can you clarify that? Does that mean that the votes of other party members <laughs> do not count? Oh, no, of course, the votes of other... There's a, there are two, it's a two-stage process. The first stage is the nomination. Uh, during nomination, it is a, um, a system uh, where delegates come to cast their vote in the, for the party nominee. nominee. And that is um, where uh, the governor's uh, influence will be important. Of course, uh, because this, there's a structure that is in place. Um, all the the delegates will uh, want to uh, get idea about where the party is going. And uh, the governor of a state is the leader of the party. So it's not that he will go to make up the minds of the delegates. It's just that, uh, that the leader of the party is important in the process. It's not that he would now fundamentally say, you, you are the only one, he's the only one that we decide. So he has uh, a very, very significant role to play. Uh, you have delegates that will come from all the wards to cast their votes for uh, the nomination, after which then you have general election. And general election is about what uh, the candidates um, are perceived to be able to deliver to the people of the state. Former Minister of Power, Professor Bart Ngaji, thank you so much for joining the uh, show this afternoon and all the best with your campaign.